Today I'm going to show you how to create an NFT or non-fungible token from some Photoshop art, picture edit or piece of work you may already have sitting on your portfolio. It's a great way to add an extra source of passive income to your belt and you can now create your very own NFTs for free. Yes, for free! No more hefty gas fees burning holes through your wallet anymore because that sounds dangerous actually. So if you're ready to create your first NFT and send it to the blockchain, whatever that means, right? Then grab your snacks, get comfortable and let's get cracking! What's up everyone, my name is Francois, thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful day and welcome back to my channel where I teach you how to become a better creative editor and become successful with your art career. So today we're talking about NFTs and more specifically how to turn your pictures, videos or any of your art from your portfolio really into an NFT so that you can add more streams of passive income to your arsenal and make more money from your art. This video is part of a playlist dedicated to teaching creative editors like you how to make more money, so definitely check it out if you're interested in money like having more of it, grabbing more here and there and keeping it. <laughs> So here's a quick rundown of what you're going to need in order to mint your first NFT for free. Don't worry, I will walk you through everything step by step. The first thing you'll need to do is smash the like button for the algorithm. I know it sounds counterintuitive at first, but the more people like this video, the more YouTube will recommend it to people just like you who want and need to know how to mint their own NFTs. So it's like giving back to the community in a way. So please go ahead, like this video, I really appreciate it, and now let's get back into it. So first of all, in order to mint an NFT, you're going to need some art. Well. Yeah. Then you're going to need a crypto wallet. No, Jeff, I told you before, your 100% pure play the wallet does not count. Then you're going to need to choose an NFT marketplace, but not just any marketplace. No, no, no. Because there are many marketplaces out there that allow you to mint your NFTs for free. And not all of them are trustworthy either. So make sure you watch this video all the way to make sure your NFT stays safe. So as I said, the first thing you're going to need is, well, obviously some art. Yeah, that was an obvious one, right? But don't worry, if you think you don't have anything to mint into an NFT, you might want to look into your portfolio and see if you've got some previous work you've done in the past. There might be something in there that you've made a while ago and forgot about, which people might want to buy and collect as a unique piece of art. In my case, I'll be using the work for my new project, Logo Planets. Logo Planets is a brand new Instagram account where I make Photoshop composites, turning logos like these into cool and vibrant top-down landscape like these ones. I really like the concept and I have no idea how I came up with it. It's a very old idea I've toyed with before, but what pushed me over the edge and motivated me to put this idea into fruition was seeing the Microworld series by Benny Production. I was really inspired and it motivated me to turn my vague idea into something concrete. Definitely go check out Logo Planet's Instagram account at Logo Planet's official if you want some creative inspiration and want to follow my journey as an NFT artist. So once you've chosen what art you're going to sell, the second thing you're going to need in order to keep your NFT safe is a crypto wallet. To explain it very simply, a crypto wallet is an online account that keeps all your digital assets like cryptocurrency and your crypto art into what is known as a hot storage. Cold storage means keeping your digital assets offline, whereas here we're staying online. Both options have their pros and cons, but we're not going to cover that today as it needs its own separate video. But do let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to cover this topic in the near future. In terms of hot or online crypto wallets, you've got a few different options to choose from. The one I'm going to show you here is Metamask, one of the most popular digital assets wallets out there, which integrates very well inside of your web browser, just like any other extensions you may already have. And that's really cool. Let me show you how easy it is to create an account on Metamask. First of all, go to metamask.io on your computer and click on the download button in the header. This is going to ask you which platform you're going to install the extension on. I'm going to choose Chrome and click download, but you can also install it if you use Firefox, Brave, Edge. Does anybody use Edge for anything other than downloading Chrome anyway? Microsoft Edge users, I know you're out there. I see ya. Once the extension is installed onto your browser, give it a cheeky click. That'll take you to a new page where you'll be able to create your new account. Also, it has this fox that follows your cursor everywhere, which is very freaky. <laughs> anyway, click on Get Started and choose Create a Wallet. I've already done that, so in your case, just follow the instruction on the screen. At some point, it's going to give you a list of 12 words. It may seem random, but this list of words is your unique key and is needed to log into your account and keep it secure. So be sure to keep it safe and offline. Treat it like a password, so don't copy it into your notes or give it to anyone. Then it's going to ask you to download the app on your phone and scan a QR code. Once again, just follow the instructions on the screen and you'll be good to go. Once that's done, the third thing you'll need to create your first NFT is to create an account on a crypto art marketplace. 
This is the platform that will allow you to upload your piece of art onto your public markets, give it a name, set the price, the auction type, and all that kind of detail. Think of it as a storefront, basically. This is where it can become quite overwhelming. What platform should I go for? There are so many. Well, before I can answer this, I need to tell you about gas fees. A gas fee is a monetary compensation that crypto miners get for crushing numbers and adding your NFT onto the blockchain. The prices vary and fluctuate with the price of Ethereum, so depending on the current state of the crypto world, creating or minting your NFT could cost anywhere from $50 all the way to $500 and beyond. Yeah, that's not great. But not with me. You saw the title of this video. I promise you a free way to create NFTs. You're getting a free way to create NFTs. It's as easy as that. And for that, the marketplace we're choosing is Mintable. So let's head over to Mintable.app and choose Create Account in the header. Follow the instructions. It's very straightforward. And when your account is created, you're going to want to go back to Mintable.app and log in. Now you can see that you've got this option at the top that says connect a wallet. You're going to connect your Mintable account to the MetaMask account you've just created. This is what's going to allow you to store any digital asset and any crypto money that you use to buy and sell NFTs. So click on it and click connect a wallet again, follow the instructions and you'll be done really easily. Once again, Jeff, do make sure to keep that 12 word key safe somewhere offline. Once this is all done, the final step you're going to take is to finally mint an NFT. In your Mintable account, click on mint an item at the top and go to create a new item. You can choose between the advanced or the easy options, but basically both of them will allow you to mint your art for free by eating the costs of gas fees for you. For this tutorial, I'm going to mint this Photoshop art I've created for the Logo Plans project. I'm going to select art and give it a title and subtitle. You can upload the preview image, the piece of art itself, and any other file you think may be of value to the buyers. You can even attach a private file that can only be unlocked by buying the NFT or winning a bid. Now let's add a nice description and choose whether you want the copyright to be transferred. Transferring the copyright to the buyer mainly implies that they will be able to sell your NFT again. Now it's up to you to choose whatever option you want, but do bear in mind that oftentimes, and especially nowadays where the NFT space is quite recent, not a lot of people can afford NFTs. It's usually wealthy collectors that invest in crypto art. Part of the reasons why they buy those digital assets is of course because they want to own a cool specific piece of art and they believe in the creators. Yes, of course. But very often buying art is also an investment into the future of that artist. A gamble or a bet that the popularity of the artist will go up, driving the price of the asset up, meaning that it can then be resold at a higher price for a profit. So if you choose to not transfer the copyrights, you prevent the buyers of your art from being able to resell it in the future for a profit margin, which may mean that there isn't really a point for them to buy your crypto art in the first place. Being able to resell your NFT for a profit can be an incentive to buy it in the first place. It's not always the case, but it's something to think about and consider. Choose the option that makes the more sense to you. Finally, choose the buying option and set the price, which will then be expressed in Ethereum or ETH. So that means that the value of your NFT will go up and down as the value of Ethereum goes up and down. Once that's done, click on list an item and let Mintable do its thing. And bosh! You are now the proud owner of a unique, one-of-a-kind, non-fungible token. Congratulations, my friend. I'm so proud of you. So there you have it, guys. This is how to turn your own art into NFTs for free. Look at you now, proud owner of your own crypto art. I'm so proud. So proud. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you did and you did my my accent, make sure you like this video as it really helps with the algorithm. Also feel free to get subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my future videos on how to become a better creative editor and make more money with your art. But more importantly, come be a part of this amazing growing community. And whilst you're here, go check out my NFT store and follow my new Instagram account for Logo Planets at Logo Planets Official. You'll really like it. Finally, if you're wondering what to watch next, go ahead and watch this video right here. As always, thanks so much for watching. My name is Francois and I'll see you next week for a new video.